Bobby. And why do we need to free him? Wait, what? Looney won't tell me. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Snake and Ike. This is interesting because Snake does a lot of projectiles and Ike has nares and I want to go into Snake. So, how does one character like Ike can approach against Snake? It's <laughs> holy gonna, crap. He's, he's just hitting him himself. The They're just hitting himself. I mean, I honestly, like, if you could participate in that highlight, I would. Like, if I was on stream and I found some way that I could help my opponent ladder me off the top in an infinite, I, I would I'd play along. But uh, apparently, <laughs> Looney Tunes likes to win, so he's not going to mess with any of that, but he's still playing from behind right now, but oh, it's a he, snake. Yeah, so he's much the back. power behind him. The fact that uh, grenades could just be, like, a uh, frame one thing and just go, well, well, the snake just died. All right. Um, the fact that grenades could uh, be like a, a combo breaker uh, is really absurdly crazy. Which is good for Snake though, because Snake really wants to get trades off from anything, and it'd be good for Snake. Yeah, being a heavy character with a pretty decent recovery. I mean, it's not the best recovery in the game, but it often helps him survive. Mm -hmm. That downer? I've heard that downer is frame four. Yeah, it's his best auto shoe option. Guaranteed. That's Snake's best out of shield option. And it makes him float there. It's a very interesting move. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it's just weird because out of all things, Snake's best out of shield option is there. <laughs> uh, there's also the case of uh, using the C4. You know how there are players with just like the full shield on the platform and they could just, uh, and the same player would just C4 on the shield. So it's basically like uh, how Ganon or uh, pockets up B when they put a shield and just get hit by the up B. It's like that with C4. Oh, that's actually a really big opening for Mega. He has been sort of had trouble getting in and the damage has been racking up and racking Yay. up. And C4 actually taking the stock. You gotta keep track of where he's planting those mines because they are, oh, they're so strong. They're really strong. And of course, there's the, uh, the butterfly. <laughs> that butterfly does more knockback and I think more damage too. But all we know is that it does more than knockback. Which one's the butterfly? It's the, on the C4. If you look really close... Oh, he just killed himself with a grenade. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you look closely at the C4, depending on what the what it looks like, um, right now the C4 that's playing right now is just a regular C4. There is a C4 that looks like a butterfly. And that does a, whole, a huge lot of knockback. And there's this new one recently, which I don't think has been confirmed yet, but it's, someone said it. There's a dog bone C4, which apparently that's more stronger than the butterfly. So you could probably, you could probably Wait, die. RNG? It's RNG, yeah. Butterfly and the, the apparently dog bone is RNG. Uh, but they're all RNG. Uh, dog bone does a whole lot of non -bibles. You could die probably like at 80 as I. <laughs> that's how scary it is. Now, anyway. one, thing, one thing that's actually kind of funny, the dynamic of like <laughs> Smash 4 veterans versus Brawl veterans, is that as a Smash 4 veteran, you might not know the Brawl vets. Like, no. if you're somebody who's played Smash 4, you can get incredibly... Nah, that was a bait. You can um, get so overwhelmed. And get, not only that, but also like, if you don't know the opponent, you can like, get tilted on like, uh, why is this guy I've never heard of before <laughs> kicking Sully, my butt? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, no. But we are actually, this is a last situation. One neutral air from Ike will, I believe, confirm. That'll be yes. it. Yeah, it'll yes. confirm. Ooh, oh, that's parry. parry. Yeah, that's a good thing about uh, facing against any Ike players. It's just not that they want, they want, they're fishing for that nair. But the thing is that since it's kind of easy to know what they're going for, you can easily <gasps> parry it off of it. That wow. up to barely killing off. That up to was also so smart, knowing that Mega has basically been fishing for that neutral air. And now he's at 151% and trapped at the ledge. There are so many ways for throw, not, not doing, doing it. it. That's hey, it. There it is. <laughs> and also he hit the My magic. Son. He hit the magic Damn. point where I believe it's after 160%, you can do snake down throw and it true combos it up into up tilt because That's of uh, the opponent is in the when he down throws, it's the amount of stun is relative to their percent. 500 battles. <gasps> wow, that's not a lot. Right? <laughs> that really isn't a lot. I did, I did 2,000 in my own already. It was like last week or so. I don't remember. Anyway. Uh, uh, yeah, so that comes true, which is really scary. The fact that Snake is a guaranteed combo after that. But it's almost like a back throw anyway. So it's like, you know how there's like, opponent, like characters out there that have like a guaranteed kill off a throw? It's like that. Now, one thing about that game is that at the end of it, you can really see how 
the experience that Looney Tune has paid off for him because he knew, oh, he wants the neutral. He's looking for this neutral because if he, he gets a single neutral there, he wins the game. <laughs> and knowing that that's the option he really had to look out for, he played around it beautifully with up tilts, with staying back, with not over committing. And so this time around, Mega has to, I think he has to be a little more fluid, not necessarily just play to his win condition. Right, I see your point there. The fact that now you know what the character, what the player is looking for, you gotta find a way to figure it out for it. And then once you did, and then you take that, you use that advantage and get the kill off the if you can. I guess doing a fantastic job right now using the Smash Bros. platform, just in general getting so much damage. Ooh, that's bad. That was the timing of that was gorgeous. No, I mean, it could, like, easily run it, use it early and not get hit by the up smash, but the up tilt would do it anyway. Yeah, that up tilt might not have the, uh, the legendary hitbox as it did from Raw, but it's still a super. Yeah, it's freaking busted. <laughs> uh. There's also the case of like the Yata being a really good anti-air move. God, that downer does a whole lot of the percent even with all the hits. Oh, Do you know if downer auto caps inside of a short hop? I don't think so. But it stalls. It stalls, but I'm not sure if really exactly. All right. Mm -hmm. Now that's one thing that Snake's tech chases with down throw have kind of been worsened in this game. Oh yeah, it's kind of hard to get a techniques and uh, that one grab, uh, that one second grab, cool now, right? Yeah, just in general, he can't do crazy tech chases like he was able to do in uh, Brawl. It's still a super solid option. If you're able to get a read on your opponent, you can put on massive hurt. Speaking of massive hurt, I finally getting him trapped in the corner, but how much mileage is oh, he actually he get off of it? it? Oh, he aired out just in time, too. Yeah, Mega probably knew that he got C4 and he just melee air dodge. And well, I didn't even see that C4 playing there, but okay. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay. Uh, oh wow. my God! Up to the up smash. <laughs> uh, tech chase from the near, and double near, and then trying to catch his landing, but fails. You Notice know, Mega's now getting kind of aggressive. Before, you know, he was fishing for Nair when he really needed it, but now he's just sort of turning the aggression up. Christmas, whether that will actually work out well for him. He's taking a lot of damage and he's even going for dash attacks. I don't, would dash attack kill with this percent? I feel like he uh, Who's Ike? Or still not it. No. I think he's still just up there. Oh, that's such a lot of shield pressure. Having the C4 and the grenade being there all at once. It's looking like a Michael Bay movie. Just so many explosions. <laughs> I can't keep trap. <laughs> this set is brought to you by Monk and Michael Bay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, down to check chase and then no, that's just like there. Mega to connect, but the fourth would do it. All right. Now this is not undoable for Mega. It's yeah. going to be a massive uphill battle for him, considering that. Yeah, uh, uh, he's still alive. Yeah, but, but uh, one more Snake, should be able to do it. Snake is this character where he's heavy. He has amazing projectiles. It, the way his kid synergizes, it can just be so frustrating because he, he can't just kill him early. It's not like he's up against a Sheik no. and, you know, he can explode him at, like, 40%. No, he is still going to have to grind this out and play around the barrage oh, of he's, projectiles. He's slowly making this back, actually, getting a few strings here, and now he's up to 52%. Uh, so far, there's no combos that will kill him yet. Oh, the <laughs> I mean, when would Nair up air start killing? Like, I would say 80. I would say around past 80. Past 80? Yeah. Uh, but I don't think that's what you should be looking for. That's it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, had that grenade actually exploded early, he probably couldn't get that confirm off. <laughs> All right. Yeah, beautiful job. Recognizing he was after 160%, and that's the point where it was true combo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll do it. That was nuts, dude. Snake is amazing, but he's just uh, frustrating. Is Snake still solid. playing Snake? Uh, he's. I think he's going to Fox again. Who's going to Fox? Sage. 